Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm showing you the effect of having good stinky bait in your crab pot. Recently I was removing some more derelict crab pots out of Hood Canal. And in those crab pots were carcasses of dogfish, mud sharks, the salmon fisherman's worst nightmare to have nothing but dogfish after dogfish eat up your bait. Well, I have discovered, working with the tribal crabbers, that the carcasses of dogfish really do work well on Dungeness crab, attracting them. And it's amazing on the canal that we found this little honey hole uh, it's loaded, and it's not real deep. It's only about 60, maybe 65 feet, depending on the tide, a real low tide. Maybe get around 45, 50. But it's loaded with beautiful Dungeness crabs, as you can see here. The guy's being Mr. Tuffy looking at me, checking that out. It's so much fun flying this diver drone around these unsuspecting critters, as I like to call them little flounder coming up from behind them there. But we put this carcass down of a dogfish with my stinky bait that I showed you how to make. <laughs> yeah, it's a full meal deal right now for everybody. The dinner bell is ringing. And we were totally amazed on how fast scent travels in the water to attract them over. And there's the carcass there. You saw a little glimpse of it. <laughs> So, we're learning all the time on how to catch these Dungeness crab. Yep, flat, sandy area. Depths really don't matter. It's the food that they're looking for is what really matters. The scent to attract them. Be safe out on the water. And until next time, I don't know. We'll see. Bye-bye.